Okay, everyone, stay calm. Don't panic. Just take a deep, big breath with me, all right? The time has arrived. If you've been following the channel, you know exactly what I'm talking about. I'm gonna roll the intro and I want you to guess. It's my favorite job. It only comes around once a year. You got it. The time has finally come to hop up into the destroyer. Okay, so obviously this is our Miller sprayer. However, see this four point on the front? We have removed the big sprayer boom and it's off resting on stands. And we have replaced the boom with these destroyer blades here. It's spin around really fast and chop up one row at a time. Also with this destroying operation, do you see this little red box right up there? Um, we fill that with turnip and radish seeds and then we air seed them. So all these little hoses, um, when I turn it on, it'll be blowing air and seeds out of there. So I'm simultaneously destroying and planting. Pretty cool. So first I'm gonna lift some seed up and give myself a nice big stack of seed bags up there so I don't have to come back to the farm and refill. And then I will fire this baby up and we can get out to the field. Okay, so dad just rode a few rounds with me uh, to familiar, re-familiarize myself with everything. Um, and it's just kind of hard to contain my joy right now. So, uh, okay, obviously in the destroyer, um, just pretend like you guys are in the buddy seat with me, all right? So what I'm going to do is I'm going to speed my RPMs up here. We're gonna get up to about 2000 RPMs. Go. Now I'm going to start my blade spinning. There we go. And then start my air seeder. And I'm already lined up. Um, take my brake brake off. So I, there is auto steer in the sprayer, but I don't use it or need it when destroying because the males that I am chopping up are so obvious um, that I, like, I don't need it to get lined up or anything. Also, I'm going so quickly that the auto steer would kick off or try to take my tires in different ways. Um, okay, so what I'm looking at is I'm making sure that my blades are actually chopping out the males and I'm not missing any. Um, I have a camera behind me that I can see on the screen, so if I do happen to miss one, um, I can just back up and get it. Um, I'm, there's two buttons on the side of this throttle thing, joystick, um, and that's what raises the four-point blades up and down. So when I go through a pivot track and one side dips down, I can raise it up or go down, etc. Um, so I started off slower. I'm starting off going about eight miles an hour right now. And a little bit slower through my pivot tracks. Um, just till I get myself really comfortable. Um, but by the end of the day, I'm guessing I'll be going anywhere from 12 to 15 miles an hour. Which, if you've been in a tractor or a sprayer, it feels like you are absolutely flying. It's crazy. Um, uh, I do not have, my phone isn't hooked up to Bluetooth mostly because I couldn't figure it out um, and I don't think this allows Bluetooth connections, what we have in here, um, but even if I could, I probably wouldn't be listening to music just because of what a delicate operation this is, I don't know if you can tell, but I'm pretty laser focused right now. Definitely not like root slicing or uh, disking where you just kind of drive forward and it doesn't really matter what happens. You can like scroll on your phone 
an orgy amount to music. Um, the males that I'm chopping out, I'm doing on purpose, obviously. But I do not want to chop out any of the female rows because those are the ones that we're actually taking to harvest. And I want to see as big a yield as possible, obviously, with those. So I don't want to harm those in any way. So I'm very focused, paying close attention, but then also just trying to chop out the whole male plant because we don't want to take any of that to harvest. Um, if you have questions about why I am destroying or just seed corn in general, I have explained it in many, many videos. So just in fact, I have an entire video entitled, What is Seed, seed Corn? Sorry, big pit of track, big draw. Um, what is seed corn? Where I go a little bit more in depth about uh, why we have seed corn, what it's used for, and then there's a lot of unique operations that come just with seed corn, for example, destroying. This is not something you do with regular commercial corn or white corn. Just seed corn. Alright, end of my row. So, pulling out, I'm going to turn my cedar off and lift my blades up a little bit. And then turn around. This is where the backup camera really comes in handy because I really don't have any visibility behind me whatsoever. And without the camera, I think I might run into a power pool or something. Or just go into the ditch. Alright, get lined up here. Put my blades down. Start my ear seeder. And get back at it. Okay, so I slowed down considerably, so I have some reaction time as I'm filming here. Uh, but this is what the front view looks like. As you can see, the row that has the tassels, that's the male row, that's what I'm chopping out here, making sure not to miss any. And then uh, this is the monitor that I have, it is an Ag Leader monitor, um, and that's my backup camera that I have hooked up. And then you can see my auto steer line. I mean, obviously I'm lined up, but I'm not, auto steer is not engaged. Um, yeah, We've got a beautiful field out here. It is a lovely summer day, um, a lot cooler than it has been lately, which I'm not gonna complain. That's all right with me. Um, and I'm excited to get this field knocked out today. Okay, I want to step out of the cab real quick. Don't worry, everything's off. Um, so this is what I've destroyed so far. So you can see it's nice and flat. All right, now we're gonna walk around. Now do you see what I haven't destroyed? 
they get? All those tassels? Such a satisfying job. Got some remnants from the destruction here. Clean those off. All right. Back to it. All right, time for a little lunch break. Um, I actually started this morning out at the county fair and watched some local kids show animals, which was so much fun. Um, uh, I'm gonna start off a little light today. Just have some pico, I brought a bag of chips. Um, oh yeah, I guess I may have forgot to mention, yesterday was my last day of classes and I took my final test and that means I'm done with my business degree. I cannot explain to you guys how excited I am. I mean, really. Now I can focus on Laura Farms and farming and I'm done with school. Ugh. So anyways, just wanted to share that with you guys. So let's celebrate with some destroying and eating some homemade pico. Okay, I finished up on one end of the field and as I'm driving to the other end, I'm being sure to watch the rows over here um, and just make sure that I haven't missed any. You'd be surprised at how often we get to the end of destroying, we destroyed all the male seed corn plants and we'll be driving along and all of a sudden we'll be like, wow, how did we miss that? And there'll be one row standing up above the rest. So help me keep an eye out, you guys. Okay, I needed to stretch my legs for a little bit. And I wanted to check and see how much seed I have left. Oh, nice, doing just fine. Um, so like I said before, turnip and radish seed. And I am spreading this out because in the winter time, oh, there we go. Um, in the winter time and then for part of the spring, we're going to have our cows out here and they can be grazing on the turnips and radishes. Overall, things are working excellently. I've done all of that. Now I've just got to do to the road over there. Okay, getting myself lined up and starting on my last pass here. So, although I've worked myself up and gotten more comfortable as the day has gone on, um, to the point where I am consistently going about 11 miles an hour, that's what I'm doing right now, um, it takes, it took me all day to do this quarter. And I thought, I really thought this job was only going to take me a few hours because I was going so fast, um, but I can only take two rows at a time. So it would probably go a lot faster if I could destroy more rows at a time, but I only got the two. So that's why it took me all day. Um, I did allow myself to listen to some podcasts because although yesterday was my last day of formal education, until maybe one day I'll decide to go back, um, never stop learning, kids. Never stop educating yourself. Um, and so I truly believe that every single day I come to work on the farm um, because it's only been, I've only been actually farming, like renting ground. This is only my second year. I've worked on the farm before that. Um, I learn something new absolutely every single day. Um, and I do really enjoy that about this job. The fact that every single day is something new and different. Um, and it leads to so many cool opportunities. Um, and honestly, same with YouTube. I try not to talk too much about myself being a YouTuber because I know that you guys are here for farming content, not like learning how to do YouTube. Um, but tomorrow I get on a plane and fly to New York. So by the time you guys are watching this video, I will be on a plane and headed to New York to attend a farm show. And that is just something that never would have been possible without me 
starting farming, without me starting to make YouTube videos, without you guys watching the YouTube videos. Um, and I just wanted to take a minute and say how much I appreciate you guys for doing that. Um, you guys spend a lot of time out of your day watching me and interacting with me, commenting on my videos, watching my videos. And I like to think that I'm educating you along with me. So I just really appreciate you guys. And I love what I do. I really do. Okay, so I'm done. That's it. I'm gonna turn off my air seeder and the hydraulic that runs that. Oops, there we go. And turn my blades off. Start throttling down a little bit. There's nothing to fold up. I can just drive back to farm now, which is kind of cool. Um, so there we go. My favorite job of the entire year. Unfortunately, I don't get to do it anymore because I'm headed to New York. But an excellent day spent in the cab. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thanks for watching, and next time you see me, I'll be in New York. Bye! Okay, so I'm actually back at the farm now, but I thought this might be interesting for you guys to see. Okay, so I mean, RPMs obviously here, but how much fuel I use today. So I started destroying at 11 a.m. and I'm done at 5.30 now, p.m. And when I started, I had 145 gallons of diesel and now I have 111. So that's how many gallons per hour I burned. And I did, I think it was like 140 acres that I destroyed. So if you're interested in that, and if you even watch the end of this video, there you go. <laughs>